the time has come in America when the same kind of concentrated effort that split the atom and took man to the moon should be turned toward conquering this dread disease. More than 50 years later, the same question has troubled millions around the world. Why is it so hard to beat cancer? Before we dive in, let's understand that cancer is not a single disease, but a group of diseases characterized by the abnormal growth of cells. Each type of cancer is unique, and its behavior depends on various factors, making it incredibly challenging to develop a universal cure. First, genetic complexity. Cancer arises from genetic mutations that disrupt the normal control mechanisms of cell growth and division. These mutations can be caused by inherited genes, environmental exposures, or lifestyle choices. Imagine our genetic code as a complex tapestry or woven fabric. Cancer mutations are like knots in that tapestry, disrupting the harmony. Untangling those knots and restoring normalcy is akin to finding a specific thread and carefully unraveling it without damaging the rest of the tapestry. Number two, heterogeneity. One major hurdle is the heterogeneity of cancer cells within a tumor. This means that even within a single tumor, there can be different subtypes of cancer cells with varying genetic profiles and responses to treatments. Think of a tumor as a bustling city with diverse neighborhoods. Each neighborhood represents a different subtype of cancer cells. Treating cancer is like trying to develop a single solution that works for every neighborhood, considering their unique characteristics and needs. Number three, resistance to treatment. Cancer cells are notorious for their ability to adapt and develop resistance to treatments. They can mutate or activate specific cellular pathways that render the treatment ineffective. Picture cancer cells as the weed in your garden. You use a herbicide to kill it, but to your surprise, the weed continues to thrive even in the presence of the herbicide. When treatments are deployed, cancer cells quickly devise strategies to protect themselves and continue their harmful activities. Number four, late detection. Early detection plays a crucial role in successful cancer treatment. Unfortunately, many cancers remain undetected until they have reached advanced stages. By the time they cause symptoms, it's already too late. Late detection is akin to discovering a fire in a building only when it has already engulfed several floors. It becomes increasingly challenging to control and extinguish the fire, just as it becomes more difficult to treat cancer once it has spread to other parts of the body. Number five, limited treatment options. Developing effective cancer treatments takes time and extensive research. There are still types of cancer for which we have limited treatment options. Imagine scientists as explorers in uncharted territory, searching for new treatments. Sometimes they come across well-established paths that lead to effective treatments, while other times they encounter terrain where progress is slow and uncertain. Despite these challenges, it's essential to highlight the progress we've made in the fight against cancer. Researchers and medical professionals worldwide are actively working towards new treatments, improved early detection methods, and better understanding of the disease. Remember, every breakthrough brings us one step closer to finding more effective treatments and ultimately a cure. Support for cancer research, early detection screenings, and healthy lifestyle choices can make a difference. We would not want to raise false hopes by simply the signing of an act. But we can say this that for those who have cancer and who are looking for success in this field, they at least can have the assurance that everything that can be done by government, everything that can be done by voluntary agencies in this great, powerful, rich country now will be done. And that will give some hope, and we hope those hopes will not be disappointed.